everyone, Tina here. I hope you're having a fabulous day. Thanks so much for joining me. Today I'm super excited I get to share with you the brand new Spellbinders Card Kit of the Month for April 2020. This month's kit is called Weekend Fun, and we could all use a little weekend fun, I'm sure. Um, this is an amazing kit that's filled with so many goodies, and we're going to take a look at everything that's in the kit first, and then following this video, there's another video at the end that will share... Um, how I created 10 cards with the kit, so I encourage you guys to check that out. Okay, this is your content sheet. That middle card there is um, a step-by-step -step tutorial on the reverse side. It usually uses um, the tutorials share how to use the dies in this month's kit. And There's a silhouette, um, and I think they created a beautiful card with that. Um, we're going to start off by taking a look at the card stock. Kind of cuts, uh, kind of sets the color palette of the kit. You always get, well, you don't always get, but you get a mirror card stock that's in gold this month, and it's double sided. And this um, die cuts beautifully, guys, and it embosses beautifully too. Love the gold card stock. Um, you get a navy. You get a very pale purple, and then you get three shades of pink. You get a real pale pink a corally colored pink and then you also get like a bubblegum colored pink really pretty you get white and then you get a yellow and then you get a green these are all eight and a half by eleven sheets so if you want to create card bases with them you very well could but this kit um, does come with pre-scored and folded card bases which makes it super nice okay okay you get ten envelopes, which are really nice. They're A2 in size, and then you get 10 pre-scored and folded card bases. They're four and a quarter by five and a half inches, which means they're standard A2 size card base. Next up, we get to take a look at the stamp set, which I'm super excited about. I love bumblebees. This has a beehive, and it also has a little bee with honeycomb. There's buildable sentiments, and there are tons of them, guys. So cute. You have that large bee here, and then you have the sentiment that says, because uh, I love you, so it could be because I love you, or um, be beautiful, or you have day, you have um, um, happy be day, so you can create a sentiment there, or because you are amazing. Lots of lots of versatility here. You have celebrate like you're the queen bee, or have a be beautiful day. You have because you are amazing, or because you are, are amazing. Or you have friends were meant to be. Believe in yourself. Lots of versatility. And you have um, honeycomb pieces. You have a solid and an outline. So if you want to color in your honeycomb, you could. Or you could stamp in a color, which is great. So that's your stamp set. It is the Weekend Fun stamp set. And I'm so looking forward to creating with that. Next up, we're going to take a look at the paper pad. This month, you get 20 sheets and they're bright and colorful sheets. We're gonna open it up and take a look. You know, I'm a, um, a fan of two-tone pattern papers, and so there's lots in this paper pad. It's a six by six paper pad, 20 sheets, you get two of each pattern, so 40 sheets in total. But isn't that so pretty? That's a honeycomb. You get two tones. This has little cocktails on it. Love that, like little mimosas. <laughs> um, you also get some two-tone there. I just love the prints. You get some bees with some florals and like an ombre almost effect here or a bokeh effect even. This has some gold distressing on it, which is really nice. Florals, citrus with florals. You even get some solid. This is a real pretty watercolor paper. Butterflies. This is little crowns, which is lovely. Some more citrus. And then it just repeats it. You get some two-tone florals. Then you also get the gold boiled honeycomb, and then it just repeats itself. Love the patterns in here, and I so look forward to using this paper pad. That's the weekend fun paper pad. Okay, next up you get some layered stickers. These are 3D stickers, and there are six of them in here. These are nice because you just can peel and stick, and your card's almost done. These are really nice for travel. Actually, the whole entire kit's great for travel. <laughs> Not that you'd be traveling right now, but it's great to make easy cards. You also get two sheets of chipboard stickers. These are fun because they're great for sentiments, but they're also great focal points. Like that yay is actually looks like a mylar balloon. Super neat. 
there's gold foiled accents on this chipboard. You even get the, the champagne bottle there that coordinates perfect with your paper pad and that pad of paper especially. And then the sentiments in here are super cute. You even get the hugs and the banners up there. Okay, next up, we're gonna take a look at the die cut pack. The die cut pack is available as an add-on and I'll link it down below. So if you guys are not a fan of the kit, and actually the paper pad is too. So this month, there's two add-ons, the paper um, weekend fun paper pack, and then also the weekend fun die cut pack, which I'm gonna share with you here. I'm gonna actually speed up the video just because there is a lot of die cuts in here. You get two of each, and a lot of them have gold foiled accents. There's coffee mugs and peaches and, and cassettes and toasters and sentiments and bumblebees and butterflies and clocks. Lots of versatility with this. There's even little hairpins, which would be cute for a girl's night out. <laughs> There's a lipstick in there, which I'll show you in just a little bit, but lots of sentiments. There's a key and sometimes the die cuts aren't punched out all the way. So you just need a little help um, punching out the, um, the center pieces. You even get these cute little gummy bears, which I think are adorable. I love that the sentiments are like little tags. The hearts that I'm showing you there um, have a gold outline, but you can punch out the center, which is nice. There's vases with florals. There's silhouettes of vases. There's purses. Lots of sentiments here. You get little champagne or mimosa glasses. You get some champagne or bottles, some presents, brunch money. You even get pancakes or hotcakes. <laughs> you get a beehive and a couple coffee mugs, which are really nice. You get sentiments that say celebrate or pop. That goes good with the champagne bottle. You get sentiments that say beautiful and fizz. This one has a little heart with both hands. I thought that was cute. <laughs> but I love the colors. I am I love coral anyway. And I love that the citrus and the wine or the champagne is on the corally side. Super fun. There's even gold leaves. A couple different kinds of butterflies. And then you get typewriters. You get lipstick there. You get fabulous sentiments, bouquets, a doggy. And it goes on, there's lots. So sky's the limit with this. So you get the chipboard, you get the 3D stickers, and then you get lots of die cuts here. So tons. And I'm only gonna make 10 cards, but at the end of my 10 cards, I do share with you what I have left over. And I have a feeling this kit is gonna be one of those kits where it doesn't look like I even put a dent in it. <laughs> so you can get little tickets that say free hugs. I think that's so cute. Or free drinks. Then you get some arrows. So that's your die cut pack. I'm gonna go ahead and put them all back and then we're gonna continue on. We get um, adhesives, oh no, no sequins. Um, this month you get green and they're two tones. You get like a, gold, um, a green foiled and then you also get like a matte green. So that's really nice. I love those little jars, they stack really well. You get foam adhesive and then you get double sided tape always. And then you get your dies. I'm going to clear off the desk a little bit and I'm going to share with you the dies here. There is a beautiful wreath in here and I thought we'd create a wreath with some pink cardstock. There is a silhouette lady of a lady. When we were little, we had pictures. Um, in my family, there's five girls. And mom, if you were watching, I remember those pictures of all of us girls that you had done um, with the silhouettes. But then, the, you know what the nice thing is? That the honeycomb and the bumblebee guys coordinate with your stamp set. I love that. This is gonna be so neat because if you wanna die cut out five bumblebees, you don't have to fussy cut. You can use the coordinating dies. It coordinates perfectly with your stamp set. And then also the honeycomb does too. Um, they're the small and the medium honeycomb dies will um that's actually a choker for the your silhouette but these two um you get three honeycomb dies the largest could be used as for the outline one in your stamp set but it is it will leave a little bit of a white border but this one will fit that one the outline border perfectly or the solid one and then the little itty bitty one will die cut out the smaller honeycomb here 
and like I said this larger one will cut out the outline of the honeycomb but um, it will leave a little bit of a border but I th I'm looking forward to playing with this I love coordinating die sets and I think that's neat that Spellbinders has this for your stamp set super neat so these are all your dies you get this beautiful wreath and I'm going to die cut out the wreath with again with pink cardstock I'm going to die cut out some pink flowers and then I'm also going to switch it up and die cut out some white leaves with a little leaf die set this month um, for my wreath I wanted dimension and so I did use um, foam some fun foam and I die cut out my wreath you can see how pretty that is isn't that gorgeous here's my fun foam that I die cut out with that same wreath super pretty I like to mention on my wreaths and so I thought well why not and I had pink um, fun foam and actually my fun foam is adhesive backed so I'm going to add a little bit of glue to the top of the fun foam and then I'm going to take my pink cardstock add it on top of my wreath um, fun foam wreath and then I'll have automatic dimension and then all I have to do is peel and stick which is really nice and that's what um, usually when I create with my dies during the unboxing my very first card will be used I'm using the dies in the set so now we have a little dimension if you don't have fun foam if you wanted to do layers like die cut out three layers of that wreath and layer them together and create a chipboard effect you could do that too for a little added dimension but I just think this is so dainty and pretty. I thought the pink would go perfect. Okay. Now we have our little, well, I have the Celebrate. I didn't think I mentioned, mentioned that, but um, this is the inside piece of the wreath. And I thought that was pretty interesting. Something a little different. So we're gonna use that. I die cut out Celebrate with the gold card stock in the kit. I'm gonna add a little glue behind it. And then I'm gonna glue it down to the center of our, our wreath piece. Um, I just thought it looked very interesting <laughs> so I thought it would create a nice little accent for a card but that's the celebrate it's in a beautiful font so it's nice that it comes with a, a sentiment die too which is great okay I'm gonna use my tool in one this is the fun stampers journey tool in one and um, this one actually came with a stylus and so I'm gonna grab it and replace that with my pick and then those little itty bitty flowers I don't think I've ever did this, but the stylus um, will puff up the leaves on those little flowers beautifully. Um, I'm just, you can use a foam mat, but I had the leftover fun foam, and so I'm going to use that to curl up the leaf, uh, the petals of my flowers here. We'll grab one of our little flowers and then just use a stylus. And if you kind of just swirl a little circle in the center with it, then. Um, those leaves automatically curl up, or I call them leaves, but they're petals. The petals of the flowers just pop up. Super pretty. I'm gonna do that to all four of them. I die cut out the flower die twice because there's a small flower and a medium flower. I'm gonna go ahead and take the two largest flowers and layer them together just for a little added dimension. Just added a little bit of glue. Lovely. We're going to take that glue and then add three dots in the very bottom of our wreath. This way I can add the large flower in the center. And then I can go ahead and add some glue to my white leaves. And the leaves have um, embossed detail too. There's a line down the middle which gives them added dimension too. I'm going to tuck two to the left of my large flower here and then two to the right. We're going to keep this wreath nice and soft. And I had to zoom in. I didn't realize it was zoomed in. And you guys probably couldn't see what I was doing. So I zoomed in. But I did add um, the two smaller ones to left and right and added some more leaves. But that's my wreath. I think it turned out gorgeous. I love the Spellbinders dies. So this one will be for card number one of my ten cards. Um, I'm sure I'll add some um, extra embellishments to it. But I thought that was just so gorgeous. So that's all the dies in this month's kit and what they can do. I'm gonna go ahead and add some gold to the center of these little flowers. And let's take a close look at what it looks like. Isn't that so pretty? I love that. If you want to layer two together and just flip one over on the reverse side, I think that would be pretty too. 
my fun foam again is adhesive back. So all I have to do is peel and stick and I have a dimensional wreaths. There's my celebrate sentiment. And these are all the dies. Looking forward to playing with that bumblebee. So this is everything in the April 2020 card kit of the month or club kit called Weekend Fun. I'm looking forward to creating with it and I hope you guys are too. Um, if you're interested in the kits, the links are down below in the description area and I'll link the add-ons too, which again, this month the add-ons are the die cut pack and then the six by six paper pad. But thanks so much for joining me. I wish you a fantastic day. We'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.